Hello there, folks, and welcome back to the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snooker 19. Today, it is time for part 68 of Season 4 and the start of a new tournament. Today, we begin the Coral World Grand Prix with a last 32 encounter against Graham Dort. Sorry, had to do that. Um, we played Graham Dot five times before in this series, and the fairly good news is that we've beaten him four out of those five times, all in last 32 encounters. You can see that the last time we played him, we lost in the Snooker Shootout, but let's be honest, that is like a football shootout. It is an absolute lottery, a best of one frames. And Graham Dot got in and did pretty well. So we've got a good record against Graham Dot. I expect to get through today's match, but I'm showing this on the channel just in case it doesn't go to plan. Even though we did win the last event in a decider, the German Masters against Mark Williams, we weren't playing our best snooker. So I thought I'd bring this match just in case we continued that poor form and couldn't manage to scrape through today's match. It's going to be one or the other, I think. It's going to be a 4-0 a landslide from our point of view. It might be a 4-0 landslide for Graham Dot if we play that poorly. Or equally, it could go down to a decider. But we'll play all the frames on today's episode. And looking, I think, in the future of some of the events and, and how long it might take to, to get through them, if we continue in our current vein of form, I worked it out at that, well... We could be at this for another six months if we keep playing as well as we are, just with the amount of videos that we're doing a week um, and, and the amount of frames that we are playing. So I think for best of nines for now, I'm also going to do those in one episode. They're going to be a little bit longer, um, but I think that's the plan as well. And I might, might haven't decided yet, just to speed things up a little bit, um, I might well do um, an extra episode on a Sunday. So that's plenty of content for you all to look forward to. But we got Graham Dot in a snooker actually from the break off, but he's not made it easy to to play safe here. He's got to be careful not to under hit this. So we don't want to leave a red. That's why we've got to play that a bit harder. Go into the red slightly and try and get the green as cover. And we've not done a bad job there. We've left a bit of a tempter. But he's not going to go for that. I don't blame him. He's hit the blue. So where's that going to leave him? He's going to leave us with a chance. And now in our long potting ability. One that's going to be one that... Well. Without blowing my own trumpet. Fairly easy to take. So we've got to start in the opening frame here against Graham Dot. I'd like to thank all of you who came along for the German Masters final. Um... Seems that a lot of you enjoyed that, which is which is excellent news, really is. Great to see that you're all enjoying the series, even at this late stage. Of course, to reiterate, this is the final season um, of the career mode. And uh, there are people saying, well, I don't know why you're ending it, but... Well, we have played that poorly. I'm not going to hide from that. So we've got to play this with sides to give ourselves a chance of potting this. Didn't run as long as I wanted it to. But it's there. Good recovery shot. But this series, you have to consider, has been going on for two years now. Um, I'm not saying I'm particularly tired of things, but I think if the series wasn't ending, if I knew that there wasn't that target in mind, I would start to be getting a little bit fed up of this. I think at the start of the season, I thought that there might well be a snooker 20 or 21. But alas, neither of those have happened yet, which is really disappointing. But we move on. Um, Again, we've got ourselves in a bit of trouble here. So just a safety shot. Uh, it's well played. Good pace. Neil Robertson, 14. So a few jitters, a few starts, a few pots, but nothing of real consider considerable value just yet. A good shot there from, from Graham. We have left one here. But he's still not going to go for this. Obviously not very confident. Certainly one I'd have tackled from there. You know, it does make you wonder, obviously, 
you know, with this all being a bit of a concept that you immerse yourself in, you'd probably say that we are the pre-tournament favourites, given how we've been playing. Or, you know, at least up there. Um, as one of the shorter priced players. Because we've been in really good form this year. Four ranking events to date. It'd be great if we could top that. Anything beyond this round would give us an increase in our prize money on last uh, time. Given we only got to the last 32 in Seasons 2 and Season 3. Got to the quarterfinal in Season 1. But of course that has gone past in terms of ranking points. Now that is a real shame. It was a good pot that. But I really wanted to get um, to a position where we could pop the blue. That would have been a good chance to go try and get into the reds but that's what he was going yeah, for that was never going to happen so we went a little bit too far went into the bulk but the opportunity was there to put Graham dot in a snooker and we put him in one and he's got out of it pretty well now this is a risky shot because if it goes wrong we leave him in you want this to drop into the center pocket Looks about right to me. Lovely pot. Lovely pot. It's a risky shot, and I guess you could say maybe with with little reward. But the biggest reward, I would argue, is that it keeps at the table. I'm just trying to open things up a little bit here. Yeah, we have certainly give ourselves one long pot to look at. Not easy, this, but should be okay. Blue not being on its spot provides a little bit of an issue. But again, it's something we'll try our best to to compensate for. Now, this is the best positional shot, but as always, it comes well, with a it tough the angle. Corner. But we nailed it. Great shot. Excellent shot. Now, I think it might That's be time. Well, we're pretty much forced into it. Play a long blue. Eight. And a big screw back shot. Playing for the right corner, Can't see how we muck this one up. Beautiful. We're going to be on something here. I've got one ball that I've got my eye on, the one that's closest to the, the pink ball. 13. Yeah, that's okay. Playing for the middle pocket. And this is definitely our best chance of the frame so far. To go one up. Oh, wonderful shot. 14. And even events we haven't won this year, particularly in the second half, we've got at least to the the late stages, semi-final, quarter-final. We are really in a good run of form at the moment. But as you've witnessed on the channel before, that can end so easily. We can play really well and then, like we did against Mark Williams, really, try our best to, to muck it up. Alas, we didn't, but we got close to it. 27. Took it down to a decider, which we were very lucky to do. He's going for it. So that extended our run of finals to wins. We've been in four finals so far this year and won every single one of them. Which isn't a bad record to have, if I say so myself. Playing for the middle pocket. I've done that one that just possible. slightly. 34. Hmm. Tough positional shot here. If we get the cam on the red, no, it's too tight to get onto the the pink from there. Got to pot the red first. I'm fairly confident. Yep, and the red is there. And that's okay. We've got a straight cannon on the pink. And it's left the potting angle. Again, as suggested, as it was. Almost like a plant, but not as you'd necessarily think. I think from here we're going to leave a half chance on this red. If the pink doesn't take its spot, which it will, 
I don't think that's going to leave it. No, I didn't think it did. And probably just as well we didn't have that to go for because we might have just mucked it up. So not quite there in this frame, but to be fair, we're playing some decent safety lately. Neil Robertson. Which definitely helped against Mark Williams. Didn't really want to hit the brown that thick, but we did, so we can't know much about it. At least we're safe. That red won't quite go. So the aim is to, this is building up to be a really certainly make sure it won't go by pushing it more towards the centre of the table. That will do. This would be even better if it ran on to go behind the yellow, and that's looking pretty good to me. Great shot. That's a really good safety. Snookers him on the one that we've just played and makes it really difficult for the pinks blocking the others. So it was a good snooker we put him there. It's gonna be tricky to get out of that and not leave anything. I think that is gonna be the opportunity that we need to go and win the frame. Well, beat it on everyone, the pink, are we? No, we're not. Mm, that was the shot I'd have liked to have played, but blue's okay too. Long pot, right up his street. So long pot on the blue, then long one down the cushion, or potentially the one neck nearest to the pink. Either one will suffice. Pot here. And just this red needed. Should be okay. Yep, it's there. It pots. And that should be the first frame on the board. Albeit we made it a bit tricky for ourselves. So, green it is. And then go for the red that we were looking at originally on this cushion. This really is tricky. No guarantees we pot in this. And yet we have missed it. Unfortunately, we didn't pop that because we would have been out of position anyway. It went too far off the cushion. Neil Robertson. Got an idea Graham Dot will play on here, though. But he's missed the red, and that is going to be fairly short-lived. Given this position for us now. One. We'll just knock a colour in just to confirm it. Half a chance, but a chance. Then we'll just make sure we don't commit a foul. Hit one of the reds, and that will be, I would say at least, the first frame won. Not seeing really too much of Graham Dot's trade in that opener. Didn't get much of a chance. We're not going to fluke this red, are we? Well <laughs> oh, well. Well, well, well. Eight. <laughs> <clears throat> it's funny how these things happen, isn't it? When you're not looking for it, it always happens, but... 15. <laughs> Amazing, that is. I don't think the same luck's going to happen here somehow. Oh, I did I the angle? I'll tell you what, that wouldn't be far off. That wouldn't be far off we hit it at the right pace. But, uh, well, very fancy shot there, which we definitely didn't mean, but we go 1-0 up nonetheless. Well played to take that frame. Pretty dominant frame for us there. Graham Dot didn't really get a chance. We played good enough safety to keep him out, to be honest. And first shot from Graham Dot in this one. Isn't looking too great, although it's not going to be a great chance from here to, to uh, get into the reds, I don't think. Could be wrong. No, the black will go, so... Bit of a trademark one here. To try and get into the reds. Albeit, we cannoned on the one red and it's not really worked out at all. Didn't get anywhere from there, but we get a second bite of the cherry. We can pot the red and then come down for the black ball. He's aiming for the left corner here. 
So we've potted the black. We've come too far for it, though. Have we? Needs to pull up pretty quick. Mm. Nine. Not really liking that. It's going to be a very tight angle from there. I think we'll duck out of that one. But playing pretty decently to start off with here. No mistakes of note yet. Our short game is always pretty good. It's just that long game that suffers. But so far, Graham Dot looking like no great shakes. However, it is important to keep it like that. It's important not to test that. By giving him a chance. Because he's no fool. He's Mr. Dot. Foul. And the cue ball has gone in. So chosen to play on here. Giving away a four point foul. But again, luckily for Graham. Not giving away an opportunity. Back up to the bulk line, but not behind any of the, the balls, so we get a safety, but not a snooker. Who will make the first mistake? And that red has been allowed to run slightly, but again, bring that back towards the middle. And I wasn't predicting it would come up the table like that, but I'm not sure it goes. He gets blocked by another red that peeps out, yeah. So playing a bit of a thicker shot to get another one out. Yeah, that's a clever shot, that. I would guess that probably best just trying to get ourselves back to a fairly similar position. To block that red on the side cushion from being an option. Not exactly the way I'd planned it, but again, it doesn't leave anything easy. But he's going for this, and he's missed it by an absolute mile, unless he's going to fluke it, which he isn't. But this time there is a very tempting red on. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. And after this, if we keep the cue ball at a fair arm's length, as you can see, we will be on the black. And the black's there. And this is a challenging shot along the cushion. Hmm. Played that one along the cushion, but didn't really get into it. Nine. Um, at the last second there, and thought, hmm, I don't fancy this. Good cut back on the black. Doing ourselves favour by getting good position on the black here. Well, that's not bad at all. Seventeen. And we'll play the classic, almost what Judd Trump's known for now. The classic split shot. And hopefully doing what Judd Trump's known for again. Not that though. And we didn't only commit a foul once there, we committed one twice. What are the probabilities of that? Wow, 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 wow. One. Uh, you can't really uh, make allowances for that sort of thing happening. You can deal with the odd enough, but not two. Oh, dear. Right shot to play, though. I'd have played it again. Just can't get over that. But Graham Dot like is in no form at all here. Of his quality. Really not. Graham Dot, eight. Bewilders me, that sort of shot does. I just thought from the outset, I thought the angle, I thought, hmm, he's not going to make this. One. And unbelievably, I thought, to be honest, that would be frame over. After that, we get another bite. I think a bit unjust for us to get that sort of look there. We played the right positive shot. And got incredibly bad luck. But with those two reds took out, of course, it depletes the scoring chances. We 
which makes it easier for us to win this frame at this visit now. Just five reds left. Nine. So uh, 67 on the table, 24 ahead. So it's by no means done, of course. I wasn't implying that. But all the same, makes our job a little bit easier. Wants to get round that red, and we hmm, tried our best. But not liking that angle, so I'm going to dip out of that one and go for a bit more of, I guess you could say, an awkward one, but more potable, I would argue. He's taking this red on. And it's there, just about drops in. He'll be happy with and the that. plan was to hold for the black, and we did a pretty good job of that. Can't argue with that too much. Twenty. So, a few more pots, and this starts to become a lot easier to make it 2 0. Again, not to be cocky or complacent, but it looks like we've got a good hold on this match. I don't think there's any. Real chance, at least at the moment, looking at how Graham's playing at a repeat of last year's result. But that being said, we can't start whacking the ball around the table. Because that's when it starts to get really dangerous. But just this red needed. And with that red, we lead in the Grand Prix last 32 by two frames nil. Of course, barring any snooker. But I think the odds would have certainly been against us after that, after that split and having two reds going off to uh, win that frame. But it was a really poor, you know, fairly short-range pot attempt from Graham Dot. Really, really poor. And of course, at that pace, he didn't get any sort of safety. So tricky pot, no doubt. Gave us a second bite at the cherry, and as you can, as you can see or hear, if you're listening to this in the background, hopefully it's not one of those. What do they call them? Not a, no, that's not ASMR. What? Now, I don't know what it's called. Into the right corner. And no, well, I'll go for the closest thing I can think to it, like a lullaby, you know. <laughs> no, not like a lullaby, but I guess you know what I mean. No, probably not. But uh, Something that sends us to sleep. He's got us to play this again, which I don't blame him for, but I'll tell you what, we made a right cock up of that, haven't we? Oh, we missed the yellow. But I think you'll concede the frame there. I don't think we're going to give away that many snookers. But we're 2 up. Something to bear in mind, though, if we're closer in a frame. Foul. Frame dot. Four. Frame conceded. Frame Neil Robinson. So two frames to the good. Big frame this. Obviously if it goes 2-1 then Graham Dot's back in it. But at 3-0 up we are well and truly in control. And heading for a result that's fairly reminiscent of the ones we've had against Dotty in the past. But again I've just brought this match to you. Because you never know what might happen. It might go adversely and then I'll be going oh we skipped the tournament. And there'd be some wise old crack in the comments that'd be going why didn't you show us this episode. So it's just typical that... If I do, we'll probably get a good result here. If not, then, you know, the score. But once again, we got Graham Dot snookered there. Surely we're not going to fluke this. <laughs> oh, we fluked the red to the middle pocket. Well, that really wasn't intended. It was just purely just a safety shot there. And if we're fluking those, I bet Graham Dot wishes it had stayed at home. And we've also left the blue... Pretty much perfectly over the pocket. I mean, you can't get much better position than that. But in the process, we have snookered ourselves on this next red. So we'll need to swerve. We're going to pot this. I think he's playing safe here. He's played into the blue, and that's mm. an error. Wasn't the wisest thing we've ever done. And again, we just we're just getting on the brink of being a bit too oh, silly no. and well, going for a bit too much. Graham Doc. You ain't your own look in this game, I appreciate that, but starting to whack the balls around gives our opponent a chance, and if he clears up here, well, that's only our ourselves to blame to give him a chance. Seven. Based on what he's done so far, I wouldn't expect much, but then... 
That's the problem when you give a player a chance, they can show you what they really can do. And being 2 0 up, Graham Dot now as much as anyone that this is a crucial frame. Did really do with winning this. This was the final of the Grand Prix, actually, a few years ago in real life. I think it was, I think it was only last year, actually. I say that because I remember it quite well because it was on my birthday, the 9th of Feb. Great shot. Of uh, 2020. A really good pot on the yellow there. I thought that was end of break. But evidently not. Going to be tricky there with that black tied up. And he's missed the pink by a long way there. That was a real long hop of a shot. In my opinion. Because well, I don't know what, what he was expecting to get on if he had potted that. Be a heavy touch on the pink here, but it's not going to hurt us too much. Pretty much won all the safety battles so far, so let's see if we can continue that form. And the fact of the matter is, it didn't really last too long, that one. Tough part, but fairly confident we can make this. I'm just trying to play fairly soft. Don't want to give too much away if we do miss or misjudge it. Should have this covered, though, I would have thought. Yep, it's there. Albeit not too clean, but it's one. clean enough. No, none of these go, do they? So, might as well just play safe. Okay, and get him in a good snooker. Might be a bit boring to watch, but again, as you can see, the aggressive nature that we can get in gives our opponent chances, and that just seems a bit silly at this stage. Ooh, I thought he'd float one and cannon one in, but he hasn't. So another decent safety from us, well up in the bulk line. Only the brown on its spot now. The green you can see is just well, slightly off its spot. But I didn't see that one. I didn't see that red, and he's played it well. In fairness to him. Not played the yellow so well, though. It's a shame, because he found a really good pot there in that red, and, well, it's fair to say, definitely hasn't followed up on that. That's a poor shot. Frame dot one. And really, this should be our chance to go for uh, three and a look, not four. Calm down, not quite there yet. I could be really being really cocky here, I don't know, but I, as I say, I don't see much from Graham Dot that's going to threaten us today, given he's had a few chances in this frame and definitely not taken them. Again, didn't quite get into that shot, I must confess. Looking to pop this into the left corner pocket. Pot's okay, just need a bit of help positionally. It's not as bad as I thought, actually, that position. Just got to pop the pink first. Pops on, and he's going for it. Which, again, probably easier than it looks, but it's a good shot nonetheless. A trademark crunching long pot. 14. And I'd say this is heading towards a 3-0 scenario, but as I said, still got to pop the balls. 15. It's like any match. So well and good, your opponent giving you the chance. They could have an, even have an open goal, but Timo Werner can miss them, can't he? So, thank God Liverpool didn't sign him. 21. Certainly did much better with Diego Jota in the end, at least short term. But I'll leave my Liverpool musings till another nice video. 22. Chipping away at these one by one, and they'll naturally come available. 28. This red you'll see just about goes. It's flipping tight. But it will just about pass the black. I hope that doesn't 
block our judgment. No, it's absolutely fine. We can sometimes hesitate and go for it, you know, a bit too much, give a bit too much leeway almost to that, knowing that you know, the red might not go. He's lining this one up to the middle. It's going to be tricky to to win this frame at this visit. It's fair to say, but we'll give it our all. Wrong side of the red there to really make any sort of impact. He's going for the left. And again, we'll try. That's a beauty. Try and split the reds. Oh, just about missed out on hitting them there. That's unfortunate. Bit of a thin kiss might have just bought one of the reds available. You don't know. He's lining this one up. To so the let's see if we can get a kiss this time. He'll be disappointed with that. Well, it's disappointing, but again, it's not terrible. Got to play it, Stuka, if nothing else. Or at least a shot that he's going to find it tricky to get out of without leaving anything on. Neil Robertson, 42. We're just going to play safe. Oh, she's running a bit too far. Well, play a bit of a, almost a bit of a long hop here. Nope, not quite there, but then I knew it would bounce away from the pocket more than likely, so it would leave us on the black. Bit of a, you know, nothing to lose shot, shot to nothing. Nearly played that one very well, though. Nearly. Could have been dangerous, that. So in a bit of a safety ding-dong now. Both of the reds up bulk, bit of a different dynamic to, to usual. Pace is the key with this shot. But he's now moved one of the reds. Well, where's it going to end up? Hmm. An interesting position. Make sure this doesn't come off one of the jaws, which it doesn't. And we've got him snookered. Good shot. Ooh, Blue's going to cover the pocket, which makes just things a little bit easier. Takes the pressure off slightly. He didn't want that, though. He didn't want that. This is not easy. Good pop. Good stuff. He'll be very happy with the position here. One. Buy some good safety again there. Again, our safety side... He's definitely improving. It's actually our break building that's letting us down at the moment, I think. We're not quite clearing frames as we would have done it one time and a few tournaments well, ago. We've lost the cue ball a touch. Would have wanted that under our safety, control, really. safety has been pretty good on most occasions, generally speaking. Well, an excellent pop. That should be it. No real way for his opponent to win the frame now. Seven. So thirty-two ahead. 27 on. Good required. As Neil Folds alludes to, it's going to be a long way back for Graham Dot if he wants to win this frame. Well, and I think the same can now be said for the match as a whole. The colours remaining. Oh, bit off with that one. Oh well. Again, not too fussed. Free to the good. It is looking like what I predicted at 4-0. Thank you, the fourth frame. But again, you know, could be another 40 minutes yet and Graham Dot might grind away and, and win four in a row. Funny how this game can change in an instant. He's coming nicely towards the brown to cover off that red. But it might... Do we not be too high towards Brilliant. the cushioners? It might still give him an opportunity, but luckily it doesn't on that occasion. He's now got the blue covering that ball. Don't want to be too thick on the brown. Mm, it's too much. So, bit of a half chance for Graham Dot here. Is he going to take it on? He's not going to do, to be fair. His potting's been quite poor so far, but he really gets away with that. Really does. Puts the red into the pack. Really gets away with that. Try 
and play it. Good safety, just a little bit of side on the cue ball, just to avoid hitting that yellow. Oh, we didn't avoid hitting it. But again, it's good safety. Not much we had to do there, just feather it up the table. He's played a bit more aggressively there as Dot, and he certainly didn't want to hit the brown like he did either. And Dot might not go for the pot, but we will. That was one of his nicknames, wasn't it, at one point? Dot the pot. Dot, not done much of that today. Certainly hasn't yet. But, you know, until the Dak game's over, it's a bit like football. Always get a chance. He might have had his one chance in the last frame, possibly. He's playing very well here. Because the aim now, after that pink, is to pot the red. Pot this next black and open the reds. And make this a pretty quick Eight. last of 32. Can counter. A lot of power. That's a good split. He's got yeah, a it's a good split. Here. Not uh, too much power in it in the end, actually. Which is a surprise. Well, it's a good split, but if you look at that, there's nothing on. I'm amazed at that. Apart from the very thin red. That's a shocker. Wow. No more than half a chance here. I can't believe that. Unless we play this red with side. But again, it's a risk in itself. But given we are freeing up, I think it's one it's probably worth taking. <sighs> Just missed it. So this is Graham Dot's chance. But again, because we are freeing up, I think it probably was a risk 15. that was worth taking on that occasion. And obviously the reward that would have come with it is probably a frame-winning chance. I'm not sure I can say the same applies to Graham Dot the way he's playing, but <laughs> could be easily proved wrong. One. Certainly not had much fortune in those stakes, trying to split the reds today. You know, we've done all the donkey work, but those split shots haven't quite gone to to plan in our favour. Nine. A little bit too close to the cushion here. But it's a good shot. Seventeen. Yeah, he's starting to play with a little bit more confidence now. 24. Big shot this is. Oh, he's playing to the middle. Well, well, I don't know what he's doing here. Is he playing a plant? Good to me. He must have played a plant because I don't think he hit that red first. 32. Whatever he's done, he's played a mighty shot because it's opened the reds up perfectly. I wouldn't mind that sort of split. 33. I mean, we didn't get it at all, did we? So Graham Dot might just have one back here. It's important just to not get frustrated and start playing silly shots because it can easily be three two or three each. Forty Well, before this 14-ball run, he's well, maybe probably two or three in a row, nothing more. It looks like this time he's going to steal this for, uh, fourth frame. Avoid us getting a whitewash. Still fairly confident we can win this match. Funny old game though, Snooker. You can change very quickly. So there's four reds left on the table. He's four to six up, just needs this black, which he's got, and the next red. And he's on for a century here. So best to look to him in that regard. And that has just put the cobblers on it. And I'll tell you what, it's given us a chance to get back into this frame. Would be a bit of a mighty one from this point. So we're 50 behind with 51 on the table. But he's given away a four-point foul. 
Great shot. Can we really impose it? I mean, he'll be gutted after this, after he's played, you know, a good frame of snooker, to be honest. Got to get there, though, first. We can't get too complacent, as Eight. we might suggest we might do. We've got to play up for the pink on this occasion. Just don't do the AI tactic and don't bother potting a colour. No, I'm fairly straight on it, so... This would mean we can... Oh, no, we have got leverage. Uh, no, this would mean we can only tie the frame. Take it to a... A respot. But that has gone just about okay for this red. We would need the red and the black, of course. This is tight. A chance here. Looks good to me. What a shot that is. That's right out of the top but we do need the black now to avoid requiring snookers. Not one of those you think too much about usually, but sure as hell is now. And we're actually only 30 foot now. Ignore me. And it won't matter, because we haven't potted the black. Hmm, annoying. Neil Robertson. We needed the black, to be fair. Um, we'll concede the frame there. So Graham Dot has got one back. Bit annoying. I'd have loved, I'd have loved to respot to win the match 4-0, but albeit we haven't. But again, I think especially after that, after being quite close with you know potential clearance to force the respot. Yeah, you can get a bit agitated and just want to get out of the arena as quick as possible, win the match. Hopefully we don't get like that and start kicking at it almost and I'm hoping that something happens. No easy safety this. Uh, we hadn't done it yet today. I was waiting for it. There's always one shot in a session that we play far too thin and don't hit the red off. That's a foul. He'll be disappointed with that. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit it thicker this time because it wouldn't have given us a great amount of safety. That's more like it. A bit thicker. Not quite got the pace to end up behind the yellow, but it's a good shot nonetheless. Ends up pretty well on the ball line. He needs good control over the pace. Parallel with the the other balls. This is an intriguing safety battle. Bring that red into play a little bit. Mm, didn't want it to be that thick. With the black, uh, the brown ball, sorry. So again, a half chance. He fancies this red. Mm, he's wider the mark there. Let's see, get a bit of luck. No. Graham Dot not in great form today. But that being said, so there's a way through, though, isn't there? Yeah. Nope. Well. We're nearly there in this match. It's just a struggle to get across the line. Might sound a bit bitter here, but Graham Dot is getting a bit of the run of the ball. Despite having a poor potting display. And if he ever gets in here and pots the blue and goes into the reds, I might just cry. No, that's end of break. For Dotty. Graham Dot, 14. He just wants to ensure he gets this cue ball tight to the cushion. With <laughs> oh, well. We probably had three safety shots here, so it allows me to use the cliche of two out, two out of three ain't bad. There's 
Always the risk of a foul there. A bit too thick, to be honest, there. So far the other way. But one has come out of the woodwork. And left us a pretty good starter. This really is tricky. In which could be, I know I keep saying it, and hopefully this will be this time, the break that will win us the match. One. We've got to split them up, and based off how this has gone, previously I wouldn't hold, hold too much hope. There is a pot on, to be fair. Eight. We are going to have to split them once again. Nicely onto the colour. Nine. I said we're not getting much luck in the old split department. Fourteen. We've just got to ride waves with this game. We've had some luck with that. Uh, was it a treble? I'm not quite sure. Shocking position on the blue, though. Many great shakes from there, are we? Well, that's Might be possible. Zero. I don't think so from there. 20. No. It's almost fits and starts here, and we well, might be starting to regret that we didn't take that chance in the previous frame to just knock the game on the head. This has got a good line, though. This has got a good line. Where's it going to be in relation to that brown? That ain't bad at all. Again, just a bit more pace, and he'd have really been in trouble. Come on, surely not free. <laughs> oh, this is getting silly now. Would you believe it's a very good safety as well? Foul. That'll annoy him. Foul and a miss. Foul and off. Graham Dot. Four. Free ball. The safety battle continues. Oh my god. <sighs> Not what he intended at all. You know this whole short and long game business? One. Yeah, you can see it now. I mean, well, this is a good chance for Graham Dot to make it free too. We are just not getting the run of the ball. Eight. Just to think if we'd have potted that black, it could be all over. Could have got the right end of the fourteen. Reese spot. That's a good shot on the yellow. I'll have to go up for the blue though after this. You would have thought. Unless he's got something up his sleeve. 18. No, good shot. This is going to be free too here. Wonderful pot. Outstanding effort. And at that, Graham Dot's back in this game, and surely we can't have a decider. That would just be incredible. 33. I hope I'm not watching the game go through... You know, through... Well, what's the word? What's the phrase? I don't know. Slip through my fingers, that was it. Thinking in my, my eyes then. Christ knows what that's all about. But one red and uh, a colour. 42. It'll be the frame for Graham Dot. <clears throat> I'm thinking we might have been falling a up. I can't quite understand this ordeal. I really can't. Graham Dot's not been in this game. Yet he's only sitting one frame behind us. 
But they all count as much as the next these frames do. Starting to get a bit frustrated now. Especially if this is to get to a decider, that would be incredible. But, again, we're going to draw first blood. And hopefully give ourselves a chance. If we can't win it in this visit, then at least a sizable break. He's aiming for the left corner here. Tremendous shot. He seems full of confidence at the moment. Three. Funny old game, this, isn't it? I know I've said it a few times, but this is a strange one. He's attempting to sink this into the left corner pocket. <laughs> oh. Better split there. Four. Our splits have been terrible. But if we can get a bit of a long hop here and pot this, well, then I'm not surprised he's taken again, a long pot here. it's our best chance we've had to finish off the match. That is going to be short, I would say, but actually, no, it's not. So that, you would suggest with that split, leaves for the best chance we could possibly dream of, really, to close this out. This is no gimme. But I'd watch till the end. <laughs> Because it's never all over until it is, and well, yeah. Oh, I just can't Adam and Eve this, really can't. He's an expert long potter, and he's taking this on. Tough. That's Strong. really close, but not quite close enough. <sighs> Neil Robertson, 11. I just don't know what to say at this point. I really don't. How can it have turned into a game like this? Well, he's made a meal of that. Given that chance, I know I'm rich from what I just said, but... Should have made a lot more than that on that at table, should have, Graham. Looking at this red to the corner... Really impressive queuing. Not going to say it again. I don't want to jinx anything now. Because we're not getting good run and we're not playing particularly playing well. Right corner here. Some of that definitely fueled by frustration and maybe not thinking about the right shot. Really impressive queuing. Six. But the aim is to clear up as quick as possible here and forget this ever happened. Well, Again, I know that it's not a disaster if you give away a few frames, sure, but the way we played today and the, the look we've had has been just, well, indescribable almost. Leaves just speechless. She, <laughs> yeah. Well, it was when I mentioned Liverpool, wasn't it? Fatal. Wasn't long after I mentioned Liverpool that it all started well, going no south. Here with the long pot but this should be good enough, I'd say. Now, we can probably jinxed it for ourselves again, but I uh, can't see it at this point. Surely, this is going to be enough. This break again. I can't see us making a. Big error here that's going to prevent us from getting a break together that's at least big enough to win the frame, albeit no, maybe not a, a clearance. He's aiming for the left corner here. Plan this with the rest. Yep, Excellent. absolutely fine. No problem there. Huey. 25. want 
least to drop into the centre pocket. Every pot we get is one closer. What a top pot that was. One that Graham Dot can't get. Well Leading by 34 at the moment. Still a well, plethora of red, reds left on the table. So not quite there yet. Still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the table. So 75 available. So plenty of scope for Dotty to get back into the frame if we manage to muck this up. But they're all out into the open somewhat now. All in the wild. So now five to go, 68 on. 67 even. Get your maths right. And I think this put us 46 ahead, so colour and red. Good for a colour. And we will have escaped a bit of an embarrassment, given that I think we have been the better player today. I don't know how Graham Dots won two frames, I really don't. And I think we're going to get out of this one without too much of a headache. Could have been a bad one, but alas, I think we're going to be okay. Play this one to the middle so, pocket because now in our luck, we'd muck that one up to the, uh, the corner pocket. So the red's there into the centre. And without any big shocks here, that should be it in this match. Uh, that's a top shot. Wonderful shot. 51. It's been a good one. Certainly twists and turns. Didn't think that we'd be going on to six frames here, I'll be honest. I thought that after the first couple that we could be looking at 4-0, maybe 4-1 if he wanted to, you know, if he scraped one somewhere. But certainly wasn't thinking that it would be a 4-2 situation and could well have easily been three each. And you know, when you're in a decider, it's, it's anyone's game from there. No, not quite. Really not bothered about that. Just a bit of a smash and grab shot. We made sure we didn't commit a foul by hitting the red. And that is going to be it for the last 32 of the, the uh, World Grand Prix. So we don't fall at the first hurdle like we did last year and the year before. We got to the quarter final in Season 1 before falling to Graham Dot. Not Graham Dot, sorry, Luca Brussel. But this year, luckily, we are through to the last 16. We've beaten one Scott. Is it going to be another Scott in the last 16? Could be Maguire or Higgins, potentially. Uh, but let's see who we are going to face in the last 16. It is indeed Luca Brissell. So not the last eight this year, but indeed the last 16. I haven't played Brissell for a long while, and that will be coming on Friday's episode. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, comment your thoughts as well, and subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content. Thank you for your company today, folks, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.